All right, guys, we've got another video coming at you from Fly Fly Drones. This is Steve. Uh, <clears throat> what we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about the new firmware updates, the 1000 and the 600 firmware for Spark and Mavic. Uh, basically, these remove our ability to bypass the altitude limits, uh, the max speed resets, and we can no longer uh, remove the NFCs. Um, you can still s go faster uh, in, in Sport Plus mode, but you can't set the max speed, so I think it limits. Um, I went ahead and updated on purpose, uh, so here's a video of us updating up to the, the 1000 on the Mavic. A very similar process on uh, the DJI Spark. I'm going to go ahead and um, speed that up just a little bit here. Uh, you can see here I got to 100%. Uh, 100% uh, kind of hung for a little bit actually on me. Usually it's 99% that hung, so I think that's something different. Um, but here you can see that I successfully updated to the, the 1000 uh, firmware or the dot .1000 on the Mavic. Uh, if we go ahead and open up debug mode, we'll take a look at the parameters and see what's, uh, what's different in here. Uh, so you can see here, this is the, uh, the 1000 firmware. We'll scroll down to the parameters. And in here you'll see uh, it reset everything, but there's specific things in here that it, it reset. Um, so I'll go through and I'll just I'll edit some of these back to the stock, you know, up the max speed, I'll up the, the sport mode and stuff. Um, but if you look here through my, my favorites, you'll see some, some other interesting ones. Uh, so bear with me here as I, I go ahead and just make the updates here. Um, I've got all of my favorites up for, for sport mode, for, uh, for GPS plus. Um, you can see when we get down here to, um, to the next one, the, the height limit enabled, um, that's missing. So that's, that's zeroed out. We can't, we can't change that one anymore. So the, the height limit can no longer be removed in this one. Um, those next three for the height doesn't really make any sense if we're not uh, changing the height um, and getting rid of that. Uh, we can change the wind levels still. Um, I can change these other things, but you'll see as well that there's some other things that are missing relative to the, uh, the no-fly zones. Um, we just we, we can't we can't change those. So the old value where it was the uh, the airport limit CFG limit data, um, that one is uh, it's basically blanked out, similar to the height limit, um, and then the uh, the disable airport fly that one is basically logged out as well. And so we just can't edit those settings, and so that effectively removes our ability to break the uh, the altitude limit, as well as the no fly zone. Um, and so a lot of people are upgrading, they're getting stuck into the situation where they wanted the, uh, the altitude limit removal. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to show you how, how to get rid of that. So, um, uh, wait, actually before we do that though, I just want to show you one other thing is um, when you edit the max speed it saves, but if you, uh, you power off the drone or you close assistant and you load it back up, it actually resets. And so a lot of people, they'll, they'll change these and then they'll be like, hey, what's going on? The, the max speed value resets. Um, and so that's, I think by design, I think DJI is countering these things. So um, in order to, to fix this, you're going to have to roll back to a firmware. Uh, if you want no fly zone uh, removal, got to go back to 700. If all you want is the height limit, you can go back to uh, 900 or 800 if you want. Um, so we're going to roll back from uh, the 1000 firmware to the, the 700. So kind of, again, we want to get these, uh, these no-fly zones um, and the airport limits unlocked again. So um, go ahead and uh, close out of Assistant. Uh, we're going to use the Dumbledore tool. I'm going to assume that you've already seen the other videos that I have on this. So go ahead and load it up. Uh, if your antivirus program detects it, go ahead and tell it I trust it. Uh, click Load Firmware. Um, go ahead and navigate to the location that you have the, the downloaded firmware. Again, I've got other tool or other videos on how to use this tool. So um, go ahead and hit Flash Firmware. Hit OK. Uh, I sped the video up here so that the file copy should go relatively fast. Um, and bam, there it goes. Uh, the file copy usually it takes maybe two minutes. It's, it's pretty quick. It's, it's not too bad. Uh, once the file copy is done, uh, you're going to see here it'll uh, have a little pop-up and it'll say you got to click OK. Go ahead and click OK. Um, and then after this, uh, basically the firmware update process will start. Uh, if you watch the LEDs, you'll notice that uh, the LEDs are flash. I'll pop a video up here in a minute uh, of what to expect from the LEDs. But otherwise, go ahead and click OK there. Um, you can then go and open up the DJI Assistant. Uh, you can close that tool entirely, actually, if you want. Um, but you can then open up the DJI Assistant. Um, you can open it up, and you can actually see the firmware update process. Uh, if you're not logged in, it's going to have the login screen in front of this. Do recommend logging in first. Um, so that's basically what happens. So here's what the LEDs look like when the upgrade process starts. Uh, people ask me what it looked like. So right now it's doing the file copy. <coughs> uh, 
and any second you'll see the LEDs will start to uh, flash on and on. That means that the, um, the firmware update has started. So it turned off, back on, bam, we got the firmware update process has, has started then. Uh, and then the, those LEDs should continue to flash like that pretty much for the duration of the, the firmware update. So that's what the Mavic looked like when you do it. Um, here's the update process. Again, we're going back from the, the dot .1000 back to the dot .700. I went ahead and sped this up. This took about 13, 15 minutes for the update. Uh, I'll speed up the video here for you guys. So once we get to 99%, it's, uh, it's very common for whatever reason that it hangs. Um, and so if you guys run into a, a situation where uh, it hangs on the 99%, uh, don't get too worried. Um, what we want to do is actually the uh, what I call the RC test. And so basically um, leave everything as is, go grab your remote control, don't hook your tablet or your phone up to it, um, turn it on, just turn it on. Uh, if the remote control connects successfully over to the drone, uh, it says GPS connected or uh, OptiMode or whatever, you're good to go. Um, so you can basically back out, reload the firmware section, and you'll have the, the firmware update. If that remote control fails to connect, it means that the update process is still going. I noticed when I upgraded to the 1000 that this kind of hung on 100%, whereas previously I'd seen it hang on 99%. So again, don't freak it out or don't get freaked out. Um, just do the, the remote controller test. So here's the, uh, the RC test. You can see here, uh, I got my iPhone out. So basically uh, we're stuck at 99%. I'm just gonna try the remote control on uh, right next to me on the, uh, the countertop here. I've got the drone. You can see the uh, LEDs kind of stop flashing as well. Um, but basically just turn it on. If it moves out of connecting like this and it connects with the aircraft, you're good to go. Um, in which case you can, you can go and turn off the remote control. You can go back into assistant, basically hit back to the main window, pull up the firmware again. You'll see that it's successfully updated. Now, if that thing doesn't connect, then the firmware update process is still going on. So let it go. All right, guys. All right, so you can see here I backed out. I went back into the assistant and I got the 700. So uh, we're, we're locked and loaded here. We got the 700. Again, we upgraded from 700 to the 1000. We got locked down, went back to the 700. So now that I'm back on the 700, you see that it reset all my options back to stock. I'm completely fine with that because you know what? I can now actually edit that max speed. I got my height limit. I can change the uh, the airport fly so I can actually you know fly no fly zones. And so uh, for you guys that are out there that are running into issues that you know you upgraded to the latest version, it's all right. You can roll back. Um, you can get those settings back. Uh, and again, this works not just for the Mavic but for the Spark as well. So for the Mavic dot 1000, for the Spark um, dot 600 updates. Um, and again, as long as you use that Dumbledore tool, you'll be able to roll those back, um, even if you can't roll it back through the assistant. Um, make some comments. Hit me up at flyflydrones.com, guys, if you've got any questions. Cheers.